This is the latest episode of the NFL Draft Geek Film Room. I'm Brian Johannes, and on today's episode, we're going to take a look at running back Justice Hill out of Oklahoma State. And Here's a guy, uh, when I put on the tape of him, he just blew me away with his, uh, with his ability to run the football, catch the football, um, and, and so far has been one of my favorite players to watch uh, as I prepare my 2019 um, prospects that I'm seeing. So let's not waste any time. Let's go ahead and get started and kind of look at what uh, makes Justice Hill such an intriguing and um, really fun to watch prospect out there. So the first clip I'm going to show you is a... Um, little run here. It's going to show his st stop and start ability. Um, so here he is running out. You know, Oklahoma State is one of your true spread based teams, so they're always out of the shotgun. Um, he'll line up behind the quarterback in a kind of a pistol look. He'll line up to his side. But they're going to run the ball to this left side. And as we see, Justice Hill get, gets the ball, and he's going to get stopped right here. He wants to kind of cut it up, he gets kind of caught up in his blocker, um, but he's able to kind of stop and make a quick lateral move to delude this defender and then accelerate around the corner, end up getting a touchdown out of this. And they're going to show another replay of it here. But, you know, he, that stop and start ability, you know, to elude the defender right here, he gets caught up, sees these guys coming. He knows he's not going to be able to cut it up inside. So instead of just... just taking, you know, just going down, you know, live to fight another day. He's able to make this quick lateral cut to the outside, get around, and then just beat with pure speed um, to the edge and get get that touchdown. Now, he's not a burner. He's not a guy that's going to run like a 4-3 or, a, you know, sub 4-3, 40. But, you know, he's got enough speed. He's got enough burst and explosion that he's able to reel off those long runs. And that's going to become evident in this next run that I have. It's actually this very next play. Um, it's going to be a run to his right. And um, a couple of things to kind of look at here. As he's running to his right, you see a lot of this explosion. Look at that quick cut. Gets upfield. He's able to make quick moves to get to open areas. You know, whether it's moving laterally. Uh, even downfield, you know, going north and south, he's able to make a quick, explosive cut to get to a spot where he's needed. But what I like here is, as you can see, he's going into a little bit of traffic. He's able to maintain his contact balance, maintain those hits, and keep running. And he ends up reeling off a long run here. Um, he got kind of cut off by an angle, but he's able to, as you see... Make that quick cut, get in the space, keep that contact balance. He didn't go down. He could have easily gone down on that run, but he's able to maintain his balance, you know, regain, regain his footing, accelerate into the open field, and reel off a, uh, a long run and what was almost uh, a touchdown. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> you know, he's a smaller running back, you know, 5'10, 190 pounds. Uh, you'd like your running backs to be a little bit more, uh, you know, thicker. You know, you'd like to see them maybe around that, um, you know, 215, 220 pounds at least, um, you know, to maintain those blocks. But the thing is about Justice Hill is he runs with power. He's not a, you know, a, uh, one of those these receiving backs or an outside back who, um you know, is, is going to use his speed. He has some power to his game, and, and there's plenty of times that he's able to get those extra yards. He's always falling forward um, because of this power, and it's going to show right here this very next play. So he just had that long run. Now they're kind of in a diamond formation, and he's going to run to his right, and watch as he gets stopped initially kind of at the line of scrimmage, and he just pulls his way, fights his way through it. He's got that, that drive. He's got that determination. As you see here, he gets you know, running into his own blocker. Not the best thing in the world. But he's able to uh, keep his feet moving, keep going the power, and get in there. Yeah, well, he didn't move the pile, but he had that ability to kind of just keep fighting. And, you know, he twisted a bit and got into the end zone. Okay? 
Um, you see that a lot. He's got that explosive speed. He's got the ability to change direction. He's got the ability when you you, tr you think you have him wrapped up or you think you have a hit on him, he's able to keep going and getting those extra yards. Uh, one last thing I want to point out, um, he doesn't catch the ball a lot. Um, you know, they, they mainly ran him on some, some swing and flare type routes, some screen passes. Uh, he shows the ability to make some good catches. And here's an example of one. He's just going to run a swing out. But as you see here, and this you know, is just another reason why he's so much fun to watch, he's able to make this catch. It's, it's in front of him. It's an easy catch. Um, there is a clip later on this game, I'm not going to show it, where he was kind of on a shovel pass, and, the, and Rudolph kind of threw it a little too far in front of him, and he was able to reach out one-handed and corral the pass. But watch this move. He's going to be able to catch this. The defender's right there. Look at that vision and that quickness to see. You know, we often think of vision, and, and rightfully so, of, you know, seeing holes. And, and he shows that as his ability. There's times where he gets the ball on the outside, and he sees cutback lanes and running lanes uh, that he goes through. But look at this, this vision and wherewithal to catch the ball, make that quick cut, you know, that could have easily been a five-yard loss, and instead he ends up getting a one-yard gain out of it. Um, not, not you know, like, ooh, a one-yard gain. But that could that, that's basically a six-yard play, seven-yard play that he made because of his explosiveness and his agility. Uh, I'm a big fan of Justice Hill, right? As we speak, um, he's one of my top running backs that I've watched so far. Um, in this new age of NFL that we have, we're seeing guys like Alvin Kamara, Christian McCaffrey, uh, come in and make immediate impacts in the passing game. I don't see why Justice Hill can't be the same type of guy. Is he going to be a, between the tackles, you know, 25 carries a, a game type running back? No, but you put him, um, you, you get him touches, get him 15 to 20 touches. <coughs> he's gonna he's gonna be able to make an impact. So um, definitely, you got to keep an eye on. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Remember, the best way to get this is to subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Follow me at draft underscore Brian, at NFL Draft Geek. Until next time.